Hello, my name is Paul Verbeek and I'm a teaching focus lecturer in the School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Computer science to me is the study of how to take a set of small commands and organize those commands so that they accomplish great tasks like driving a car or determining a picture of a bird as a bird. What I love about computer science is the sheer potential of what a computer gives you. A computer is a machine that can do billions of billions of billions of computations per second and to utilize that power is something that's incredibly fascinating and useful. But the favorite course that I teach is called Comp 3400 Functional and Logic Programming. The reason I like teaching this course is because it requires my students to think totally differently and it makes them a little bit uncomfortable, but afterwards they have another tool in their programming toolbox, and many of them appreciate the different insight that I've given them to solving problems. Uh, what I find inspiration in in this discipline is the sheer diversity of spaces where computer science is making an impact. Even 10 years ago, I would have found it unbelievable that a computer could drive a car or paint a painting or compose a song, but here we are. So who knows what's gonna happen in the next 10 years. Some fun facts about computer science. The first computer programmer was named Ada Lovelace, and she wrote a program for computing Bernoulli numbers for a computer called the Babbage Engine that didn't exist and never existed. So this is quite a remarkable feat. In her writing, she actually supposes that one day computers will be able to encode and play music back, which was an incredible insight for someone centuries ago. The term computer, in fact, referred to humans, but before the invention of computers, we just had to use humans, and those humans were called computers. The inventor of COBOL was a lady named Grace Hopper, and she was so smart and important to the military that she was promoted to a Grand Admiral. She was the individual who supposed that using English words in programming languages would make them easier to understand, and that's something that's stuck even to today. When I was studying computer science, most of my computer science courses didn't require a touch of computer. You can talk about the method for sorting a list, say, without actually explaining to the computer how to sort a list. We can talk about various different ways of sorting a list and compare the relative effectiveness. This is the essence of computer science.